For practices, self check 3.8 perimeter mystery touch. We are asked what output is produced by the following program. We're given the following program here, and we need to know the output of each of the method calls that are done here. For our first method call, we're passing in ear and elbow. These are just placeholders for strings that we've declared earlier in our code. We have ear, which is right here, and it's storing i. So we're going to pass through i, and we're passing in elbow, which stores head. So from here, we're calling our method, which is this, and we are just going to look inside of our method now to see what it will output. So I is going to be an elbow, head is going to be an ear. So we are printing out touch your, and then we have what's stored in elbow, which is I, then we're given to your, and then ear, which stores head. So this is the output for the first line of code right here. Next, we have this code right here. We are passing through elbow and ear. And elbow is head, ear is eyes, and ears. And this is all one string. So head is going to be stored in elbow and eyes and ears is being stored in ear. So the next line of code is going to be touch your, and then we have elbow which stores head, and then we have to your, and then ear which is eyes and ears. And this is going in the next line right here. So next we have our third method call and we're passing through head and then we're given the string elbow. Head is shoulders. So we're passing in shoulders and then our given elbow. From here, we can go into our output and type, um, well, we're given touch your, and then we need to output elbows, which stores shoulders, and then we need to put the string to your, and then we have the string, or we have the um, string ear, which stores elbow. So this is the output for the next part, right here. Next, we have this code right here, touch II, so we are going to pass in eyes and ears. We can just write eyes and ears and just do twice since this is a long string. And from here, we're calling this method, passing in our eyes to our elbows and string, and we're going to output this method and then come back below it into our main method. That's how a method call works. So we can get rid of these lines and then write our output. Our output is going to be touch your, and then we have to input our string, which is eyes and ears, and then we have to say to your and then our eyes and ears once again and that is going to be the next string so that'll be the middle one we have two more to go we have knees and toes we need to look at knees which is right here and then we are given toes so when we look at this we notice that knees stores a lowercase toes, 
and then we're given a uppercase toes like this. So in our output we're going to have touch your and then we can look at our strings. This elbow string is storing the first string we passed in which is the regular toes. So we'll be in here and it'll be toes then we have to your and then we need to pass in toes that's uppercase. So that is the output for the second to the last one and now we are on our very last one so we have this where we are passing in head which we know to be shoulders and next we are passing in the string knees that's combined with our string placeholder knees so this is going to be knees and toes because we need to write this string and combine it with knees which stores toes right here. So we can have a comma here and write out knees and then toes. So in our output we are going to have touch your shoulders because elbow stores shoulders and then we will have to your knees toes because that is all one string and that will be the output for this code. So I did make a mistake in the second line here and we can re-examine what we're given. We are calling elbow and ear. So our elbow we are have to pass in head which is correct we did. And next we are passing in ear which stores eye. However, I mistake that for eye, and we put eyes and ears instead of just eye. So this should be changed to just head and eye that's being passed in. So our output is going to change right here from being eyes and ears to just being touch your head to your eye, and that is the output. And this is how we input our output into practice it. We passed all the tests and this is the output for our given code.